Hello, hello, world. My name is Ashley Collins, aka The Onto Dragons. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Sorry, there's something bothering me right here. Oh, wait, what is that? You probably can't see it. It's my birthday. I'm officially 32 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> It feels so, God, my stomach just got, I guess got so nauseous saying that out loud. Um, yeah, I'm officially 32 and it feels freaking weird. It feels really, really weird. Um, I don't feel any physically different other than like, you know, my nose and my dry mouth. I was talking to someone about this earlier, yesterday actually. And I don't want to be a huge conspiracy theorist, okay? Because like, conspiracies are fun, but sometimes they get a little bit, you know, out of out of control I, I like my hair like this if you don't mind but like the, I'm the button's still there I just kind of like my hair like this okay so um <laughs> so he was saying how some people were complaining about the masks particularly during allergy season because like the purpose of breathing is you're bringing breathing in oxygen but you're also getting rid of the the carbon dioxide right so when you're wearing the mask especially when you're working in a restaurant you know like you're just breathing in your own toxins again and again and again and i'm like yo that makes so, so much perfect sense you know because like I, like i said like i have no taste um like sometimes i smell fire so i'm and i'm i don't know i don't like i said Wear your mask, socially distance, like, I don't know, I just need to see a doctor. Because right now, at this point, like, I can eat, but if I hold my nose, which is super embarrassing in public. Because people are always like, what's wrong? Like, do you not like the way it smells? Like, what's wrong? It's like, no, nothing's wrong. Like, and I don't have COVID. So, like, okay, anyway, so I want to spend this time to do, um, my uncle's outside. He's probably like, put on a shirt. Uh, <laughs> I just want to spend this time doing a little bit of reflection of what my 31st year was like um so <laughs> where do I start my birthday last year was spent with a liar um and then he left I think he left in in April yeah I think my ex left in April so um the majority of the first part of the lockdown was spent with me being an massive state of depression um I was talking to a friend about this the other day where I think that that word depression right it's kind of like it's a lot your your body is your body is having a logical response to a massive change particularly in your environment you know like if you if I didn't have this mental breakdown it'd be like are you a sociopath like what's wrong with you like why does it not bother you your body's like where where is this person that we loved and your body's like why are we in this house again you know so so yeah the first part of it was just me trying to get out of bed and um oh my gosh I remember those that week those two weeks of me just trying to push myself out of bed. I remember my first week of work when I was working from home. I, It's kind of like a blur because I was just so like, I just felt so empty and so hollow and yet so heavy at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, and I, I was just documenting that, you know? Um, and then I got back into um, doing interviews. And at first they were casual, you know, I'm just me, like, like now, like, you know, me sitting on the floor talking to my friends. And then like, I just saw the quality of it. And it just kind of really bothered me, it upset me, because it, it just felt like I was disrespecting their time. So I was like, why, why not I just like step this up a little bit? I'll throw on some makeup for them. You know, I'll, um, I'll sit up in a chair, I'll, I'll put on a shirt, if, if you know, unless they, they're not bothered by me being on a, in a bra, you know? And um, what else have I learned? So I was talking to a friend of mine, Ian, Ian um, the Mellow, and um, he gave me a, a complimentary coaching session, which, you know, like how, how I am about gurus and stuff. Like, you know, I'm very skeptical about that. But um, he was saying, why do you what what do you feel? Why do you feel the way that you do? And I said that. I think that it's disrespectful that I'm still here when I feel like I don't contribute anything. I feel like I'm just wasting my life. What? Whereas someone who's in the emergency room, who's really fighting for their life right now. And here I am complaining about anything and everything. And he said, um, you know what? I think, I think that you're lying. 
and I think that you should stop lying to yourself. And I wrote that down. Thirty one has been a lot of observation for me, observing other people and how we interact with each other, which for, for me is very strange. It's very strange how we casually lie to each other. It's very strange how we put on fake smiles for one another. It's very strange how we, it's like we're all playing, we're all playing like a, we're all playing a game, you know, we're all playing the, the same mutual game and, and we know what the end result will be and we don't care what it takes in order to, to be the, 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 to be the winner, to be the most successful one to get there. And I think that's very, I don't like it. And I don't want to have to participate in that game. So can I start my own game? Can I start my own game where, where everyone wins? Where I don't have to play by your rules? Um, what else? What else did I learn at 31? I also learned that I don't think I'm stupid. I don't think I'm dumb at all, actually. I think that I'm actually pretty smart. And I think I'm smarter than the average individual. And God, I feel I feel guilty for saying that out loud, but but it's true. Like sometimes people people will say something. And I'm like, that's dumb, and I can tell you why I think that's dumb. And then like, <laughs> but I but I'm scared to say it out loud because like I don't want to make them feel them. I don't want to make them feel bad about themselves. But it's like I think that it's time for me to put to stop pretending like I'm the stupidest person in the room when I know that I'm fucking not. And I hate to like say this, but like, I'm I'm a fucking honor roll student. I can retain information very well. I'm 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 a huge avid learner, and it's like I'm not gonna allow you to make me feel stupid anymore. I'm not gonna allow you to make me. I'm not gonna allow you to make me feel like I'm a fucking amateur anymore because I know what the fuck I'm doing. So stop treating me like I'm fucking dumb. And I gotta stop acting like I'm dumb too. And that felt really really good to say. Um. So yeah, what do I want to do at 32? Um, I want to speak up for myself more. Um, I want to stop reacting. <laughs> I want to stop emotionally reacting and start thinking logically. Um, I want to continue documenting. I want to get back on the on the horse of doing more interviews. Um, I had to take a little step back because of the, the job transitioning and I can't focus and I want to give this individual my full undivided attention and I can't do that when I'm like, what time is it? What time is it? Do I, is, is it time for me to go to work? Is it like, da -da -da? like I, I, I don't want to be scatterbrained, you know? Um, my interviews are going to be shifting to daytime because since I'm working at night, yay, working at nights again. Um, but, um, and I also have another idea that I want to say out loud. I'm going to be brave and say it. Okay. So, um, over the several years that I've been vlogging, um, people have been saying to me, you need to find a way to monetize. How can you make money off of this? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm giving... The, and if, I don't think I'm giving quality information that well that's worth purchasing, you know, like it's really like when people say to say to me like, oh, I, I like how you give advice to help people. I'm like, I'm not giving advice at all. Like if anything, I'm telling you not to do what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and if, if you find something valuable from it, then that's great. But like, don't, you know, <laughs> like do don't do as i do you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um okay i'm rambling now okay just say it just do it so <sighs> just say it just say it so obviously everyone has a t-shirt right everyone has a mask even though we're gonna stop wearing masks soon um which side note by the way no one in florida since day one has been following these social distance guidelines it's huh i'm not gonna I'm not gonna snitch on anyone because you know snitches get stitches. But also, like snitches, like I'm not a criminal. I mean, I guess I'm in a way I'm a criminal. But okay. Anyway, no one's been following these mask guidelines in Florida. I remember once I went to Walmart and this guy just walked in without a mask on. The, the lady, the greeter, she was like, "Sir, you have to wear a mask." And he's like, "I can't wear one." And I was like, "Are you gonna go get him?" She's like, "No, nah, I don't get paid that much." I'm like, <laughs> but like literally, like no one's been following these social distance guidelines. But okay. That was a rant. Um, because I'm distracting and I'm I, okay. Sponsor a bra. 
So everyone has a t-shirt, everyone has a mask, everyone has sweats, and it's like, how many more t-shirts and sweats do we, do you need in your closet? And I'm sure that you're thinking like, like my best friend, her closet is, she has so many clothes, but I've never seen her wear the same outfit twice, so it makes sense. But, um, so I would like to <laughs> come up with my, uh, with a bra line, I guess. Like, is there a, like a network of, I don't know people or a company that sells bras where I could put logos on them and like like I said it'll be sponsored bra so like if you have a logo I would put the logo on the bra and I would sell them on the website and um a, a portion of the proceeds would go to you you know like we would be like partners you know it would be people who I've um who have done interviews with not um before um in their brands if, if they want to participate or not um people who i meet in the future and like i said i would put the logo on the bra and i'd sell them because like you i don't know like obviously victoria's secret dominates lingerie um airy used to but i think airy's like slowly going out of business like and other than that like where can you get your bras from um the rihanna line obviously but that's like a million dollars you can go to walmart target or you can come to my shop and support local you know, um, it'd be bras, underwear, one pieces, um, excuse me, that was unladylike, um, <laughs> one pieces, maybe eventually bathing suits, swimsuits, but yeah, it would be sponsored bra, um, partnering with different brands, and, um, um, and then eventually down the line, I would like to donate a portion of the proceeds to charities, so that's my idea for monetizing lingerie. Is that dumb? No, it's not dumb. No, I'm not dumb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop calling myself dumb. Okay. So um um um, yeah. So I have errands to run. Going back into the restaurant line. So I got, so I need pins. Obviously, <laughs> you can never have enough pins as a rush as a as a server. Um, I need notepads, and I'm then just gonna go window shop. And yeah, that's it. Um. I don't think birthdays should be sad. I think that growing older is a privilege. You're lucky to, to be able to see another birth date, another birth year, you know? So like, I'm, I'm proud of myself and I'm so, so freaking thankful that I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still a little confused. Why? All the health scares are the, the physical and mental health scares. And I'm like, why did you choose me to still be here? God, Allah, universe, whoever you are. I guess, thank you. No, not I guess, thank you. Thank you, and I, I'm gonna try to do better this year. No, you know what? I'm just gonna let this year be. Uh, there is no, there is no try. There is no, there is no like good days, bad days. It, they just are. I'm just going to be this year. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Ah, 32. I think I look okay. I don't know. Do I have wrinkles? My feet hurt. Oh my God. After working from home for a year and then getting back on my feet, it's like, oh, oh, I, this is how I lost weight. This is how I was so skinny before, you know, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to losing the weight. I'm looking forward to meeting some very interesting characters in real life. You're going to hear some stories from me all. Um, also, also, since, since working from home, working in sales, I've learned that you have to give people choice closes, you know, that you have to give them options. Like you can't just say like, have you ever been to a restaurant? And they're like, maybe I'll just make this a whole nother video, but like, let me just get this started for now. Um, <laughs> so like, have you ever been to a restaurant and you like, you ask them, oh, what do you have to drink? And they're like, we have da, 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 da. They stopped listening after the second one. Give them choices. You know, like we have Coke products, lemonade, and tea. And if they ask me what are Coke products, then I'm going to be like, is this your first time on earth? <laughs> Was that rude? But it's true though. Like, you know what Coke products are. Diet Coke. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be stupid. When you're selling alcohol, give them choices. Give them options. We have happy hour right now. We have $5 margaritas, $3 rum punches, or we have Bud, we have Bud Light products as well. And and if they want if they want to go more in further detail they'll ask you because it's not their first time in a restaurant you know like let's stop treating these people like they're stupid you know like you know how this works this is not your first time in a restaurant before um maybe I shouldn't be working in a restaurant <laughs> because I'm too snarky I was talking to my aunt yesterday 
and um she was saying how um my dad got my dad my brother got my dad's sense of humor and then she said i got his snarky his snarky personality and i was like thanks i don't think i'm snarky at all but whatever but um <laughs> last thing i want to say no i want to say two more things firstly um i was looking at this video analyzing the behavior of loki and loki the marvel superhero well villain but i think that he's a superhero in a way hear me out for a second the moment between loki and thor and ragnarok where loki says i think it's best we part ways and thor says i think that's best too and i feel like in a way i'm always trying to test people to see you don't want to be in my life anyway, so you might as well just go. And I feel like I'm always constantly trying to get people to stay. I'm always testing people to be like, I knew that you were going to leave anyway. So you might as well just go now. And I don't want to be that way. I know that people will come and go into your life. But I want it to happen more naturally and I, I want to practice being more patient because yeah I have big dreams yes I have big goals but let's say that I looked into a looking glass and it said it's going to take me 10 years from now will I stop now I like to say no yesterday I had a guest and she said that just love life every day. Do something fun every day. And I want to get back into doing that because I think that I stopped. Um, did you know you have three brains? Two brains. Yes, you have two brains. <laughs> I swear I'm smart. Um, <laughs> you have the one in your head and then you have one behind your eyes. Your eyes tell you when to be awake and when to fall asleep. Your eyes tell you when something's wrong and when something's right. And I'm going to, tr I think that the quote, dream with your eyes open makes a lot more sense to me. And I think that there's a lot more light when you dream with your eyes open. And I'm going to do that more often this year. I'm going to try. No, I am. I am. I'm going to just be this year. And I'm not going to dress for her tragedy. And allons-y. <laughs> That's a quote from Doctor Who. Alonzi. And I'm going to get a freaking tattoo this year. I am. Bet. Count on it. That's it. Thank you so much for listening to this rant. I uh, probably wasn't useful to anyone, but thank you for being here. And thank you for seeing another year with me. Bye.